The town hall meeting which was conveyed by Nazif Isa, an alumni of the school, says the essence is to brainstorm and come out with workable solution to what happened at Mautech. The group says during their era, nothing of such happened and call on present crop of students to emulate them. We all agree with me that when we were in Fuji, today Mautech, even though it's as diverse as it is today, at, at no point in its history have we reached the state that of intolerance that warranted such a religious crisis. Othman Abubakar, who is also an alumni of the school, corroborated the assertion of most of his colleagues. He says the era of religion playing a part in a country as heterogeneous as Nigeria is over, as the country and its citizenry need to be above board. Hate speeches to understand we should be able to put our house in order, particularly, like I said, the students, uh, sorry, the religious bodies that are out there politics. This I think that we should hammer on, not just allowing them because we know that this freedom of expression, freedom of religion and stuff like that. Another issue in the offing is that of the ill usage of the social media, especially by students. Insulting the prophet, how did he insult it? He used social media. I believe it was a 200, from the screenshots um, some of us saw on uh, the internet, it was a screenshot from uh, a group 200 level school of engineering, and engineering technology students. So somebody by the name of David Wanjie was alleged to have insulted the Holy Prophet. Speaker after speaker spoke over the incident and prayed it never happened again. We are aware that the university has constituted a committee to submit uh, to make a submission about any what has happened. So we are going to meet our own committee will meet with that committee so that our own input will also be there. During the Maltech uprising of last week, a 200-level student, Eric, lost his life. As the nation approaches a general election next year, the advocacy for all stakeholders is to embrace peace as the only catalyst for growth and development. Abdraman Abubakar, 2-6 News.